Hi everyone, I am Officer Potak. Hi, it's Officer Best. We're here at the Catasauqua Borough, uh, upstairs where our borough hall is, our borough manager and the girls that work in there um, invited us to come and use their couch, their lounge. So we thought it's kind of cold and nasty outside, we'll take advantage of it. Absolutely. Today's book is My Dog Buddy. My dad's dog's name, Buddy. Mm. Really good dog. This is Buddy. Dad tells Buddy to sit. Buddy stands up and barks. How our day goes sometimes. Oh. Stop talking. <laughs> Dad tells him to stand up and bark. Buddy sits. Oh, is that what we gotta do? <laughs> Reverse psychology. Dad tells him to come. Buddy goes. I tell Buddy to come. Buddy comes. <laughs> dad says anyone can do that. Yeah. You're a dad. Mom tells Buddy to get the ball. Buddy takes a nap. Mom tells him to get the paper. Buddy rips it to bits. Mom says, stop, stop, stop. Buddy goes, goes, goes. I ask for a kiss. Buddy gives me 10. You have to know how to talk to a dog. Mom says, anyone can do that. One day my brother Pete told Buddy to roll over. Buddy took his shoe and ran away. Buddy ran down the road. He ran into Mrs. Crumb's house. He ran all the way to the park. Mom called, Dad called, Pete called, but Buddy did not come. Then they all looked at me. And probably said, call your dog. <laughs> I called too. And Buddy came. I knew he would. Buddy will do whatever you say. Down, off, get in your bed. You just need to know how to ask. Time for hugs. The end. You know what's funny? I have this cat, her name is Stella. And Stella, she's supposed to be my son's cat, but she's, she's my cat. And if my husband or my son try to catch Stella, she runs as fast as she can and she hides. And if I call her, Stella, get over here, the cat will come. Or if I tell her to stop, she'll stop and stand there, but she will not listen to them. Normally cats don't listen to anybody. I mean, the cats have their own attitude. Yeah. But this cat, Stella, stops and listens to me. It's amazing. Well, I find that a lot of people listen to you, too. That's true. That's true. Yeah. You gotta know, you gotta know how to talk to people. You know, that's, that's part of life is learning how to talk to different kinds of people. I'm still in the learning. <laughs> well, that's only child syndrome. <laughs> I had two sisters and a brother, so I was well aware and I had to deal with people. Wait a minute, what are you saying? <laughs> I have no people skills. You're learning. You're learning. I'm in the learning phase. That's when I come in. <laughs> See, we always got each other's backs. But it is true. Um, you do got to learn how to talk to people. You got to learn even animals. You know, if you approach an animal that you don't know and you just start yelling at it, it's probably not going to be the happiest animal. Um, I'm pretty good with, with dogs that I don't know in this area. Um, dogs, cats, porcupines, <laughs> squirrels, chipmunks, groundhogs. <laughs> 
pigs. I have a couple pigs. selfies with pigs. pigs. <laughs> so, but yeah, um, that book was short, but it does teach you a lot. Um, learning how to talk to people or animals is very important. Everybody's different, you know. Just learn to talk to them the right way. Thanks for that advice. <laughs> Thanks, Teach. You got it. <laughs> so that was our book. We hope that you enjoyed it. Right. And we wish you stay well, stay safe. Before you go to pet a dog, <laughs> wash your hands. hands. After you pet a dog, <laughs> wash, wash your, your hands. hands. Bye. Bye.